morning, Tiante fans. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. So, today was an interesting day today. Um, my ex came over today and he was on the crystal meth. And it, 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 it was very intense for me because, you know, it's sad to see my partner or whatever he goes. Homie, whatever we was, you know, doing whatever we want to do. But uh, it's sad to see that, you know... Him, the way he is, you know, the way he's trying to... It hurts me to see somebody, you know, that's struggling. You know, going through the same thing that I went through when I had my problem and my issue. And everybody under, doesn't understand that these videos are recording the days of my sobriety. Because I want to do one year of sobriety so that I can film each day, each step, and each stress that I went through quitting meth. It's a documentary, Tiancé fans, and everybody thinks it's a joke. But this is my documentary. This is my testimony with God, Tiancé fans. And, um, yeah, he was telling me, you know, how he helped me get to where I was going. I was an informant that the homies were going to come and get me. And he was paranoid, and it hurt me inside because he was like, he just, you know, it's just, I know that he, it's not his, his issue. And it's just like, I can't surround myself around something like that anymore. And it hurts because, you know, he's a really good guy. But, Tiancé fans, meth is no fucking joke. Like, it sucks because, you know, when you're used to doing drugs and with your partner and the person you love and you have to let go, that hurts the most. And I'm not getting sentimental, but it's it's a very stressful about the situation. And for then your partner, your ex-partner or the person you love and care for to talk to you like, you're worthless to them, which I know that when you're on that drug, you don't care about nobody but yourself. You're selfish, you're angry, you're miserable, you're depressed. You're always going through stresses. And, you know, like I'm getting, you know, I'm in sobriety. I'm working right now and people call me, hey, bro, you got my $10. You got this for me. You know, you got that. Bro, I'm barely getting on my feet. And, and, and then, you know, what trips me out is sometimes too. It's like, I know, yes, I was quick to ask. But, you know, sometimes people catch their, how do you say, hatch their eggs before they hatch. And, you know, I'm getting on my feet. So, you know, I'll take the blame as the guy who didn't pay nothing or he did something. But it's like, you know, when I have it financially, I'm getting back to where I need to be with my financial income. And once everything gets back to the way it needs to be, you know, blessings will come with blessings. And, you know, I'm, I'm responsible for some things I've done and stuff, and I've made mistakes, and I've done people dirty, and, oh, I'm a police now, I'm like, you know, how am I a police, how is this, all this going on, because, you know what, crazy, I always said to myself, is how the hell you will call me an informant, but your dumb ass, or dumb her, or whoever the hell is, was selling drugs, and they caught your ass, and then when you go down, they had a nerd and say, oh yeah, you was an informant, oh you was right by there, like, you know what, it's just so ignorant, people just be, ugh, if I was an informant, trust and believe, I'll be the first nigga they arrest, I'll be the dirtiest cop for the police, they would have to lock me up, so, get your facts straight, TLC fans, it's just, ignorance and you know i'm i'm very guilty as charged for the ignorance tiancy fans but i keep it 100 i'll let you guys know it and i know when i make mistakes and you know i just wish that everybody has a blessed day and we're gonna continue on this is a good morning video and i'm laying in bed looking kind of cute okay tiancy fans kind of cute okay kind of cute kind of cute tiancy fans kind of cute kind of cute Kinda cute, kinda cute, kinda cute. Over at Tiancé fans, hallelujah. Praise God.